Hello, Jason here with By My Bits, and in today's my other video got super delayed and I can't post anything because certain reasons, you're gonna get me cutting a hole in my house. Fun. This is a fan. I have it hooked up. I wanted to test it, right? So let's say, say set this to 71 degrees, right? Got it plugged into the wall. Got it plugged into the wall. Got it plugged in. Okay, there we go. It's got a little thing right there. This is gonna go outside the house and this is gonna be the new garage fan. I've had this sitting in a box for no less than maybe six months or something. I just, I, I just haven't done anything with it. But temperature controlled, plugs in to the light. I can rewire it and everything later. But right now, I just want to get it working. So basically, this is just going to be a rough install. I'm going to try to make it look as good as I can and seal it up as good as I can. But I don't know if I have the stuff to put on the outside of the house to make it look pretty and or the inside of the house to make it look pretty. But we'll see. Right there. First step, I got to find two studs, mark them. I'm gonna put this fan right in between them. Don't you hate it when you have multiple really good stud finders, but you can only find the crappiest one you own. That's all right. Now I want this to go somewhere, hopefully in the middle, just, you know, symmetrical, but probably at the very tip of that, right? So I gotta get up there, find the studs, find out where I wanna start cutting, and then it's gonna come out somewhere around there. Obviously I'll have to cut the siding, frame everything in, stick it in there, but that's where we're gonna start. So here is the rough cut, look at that. That's, that's basically gonna be the hole. It's actually gonna be a square. I'm gonna take a razor to it and I'm gonna hope I didn't mess up. <laughs> Perfect. Ow! Screw that. Why do I have this if I'm gonna try to do that? Hole, cardboard, ruler. I'm gonna screw a screw through the middle and use this to make a circle. And then I'm gonna cut the heck out of that circle. stop before you do something and you're like okay this is it it's the point of no return i'm about to cut a hole in the outside of my house but hey it's an improvement worth it okay so i cut this little four leaf clover basically just use a six inch or five inch hole saw uh all the way to the edges that way i can get on the outside of the house get the ladder up there and then just use the sawzall or whatever whatever tool i choose probably that one right there uh to cut it in a circle. Obviously, that's the best damn circle you've ever seen in your entire life. <laughs> okay, so I gotta mark it with the pencil. Okay, I have to go down and get the pencil and then mark it. God damn it. Because basically I'm gonna have to cut off like a square into the siding. You know, I'm gonna seal around it or whatever, but this has to go, you know, into the siding and then sealed. Like a glove. Damn pencil. So that's what I got so far, okay? So this is all gonna be overlapped with, you know, uh, things, trim. And then I'm gonna put this in here, seal it to the wall, screw it down. Uh, but yeah, yeah, that's pretty much it. I think I might clean up a little bit over there just because it's a little tight and I want it to be able to easily push in. So that's the only resistance I have, but uh, yeah, looking pretty good. Now I'm gonna get up there and measure uh, how wide of the two by fours I need to just basically uh, stick a two by four up there, drill some uh, corner screws, and just, you know, seal that off. And now we do some caulking, right? This is uh, premium molding and trim sealant. So I'm thinking I'm gonna go ahead and take off that paper up there uh, because I just want this in direct contact with the wood just to make a better seal. I'm just gonna splatter this all up on there. And then I'm gonna take this 
and stick it up on there and then drill screws into it. I think I'm doing this right. Perfect. I mean, come on. A little bit of flashing or whatever. Perfect. Now I have to go to Home Depot tomorrow, right? To get the trim and everything that I need on the outside. And then I'm gonna trim this in on the inside and in like a circle or something. I don't know, I'm gonna make that look better though. And then I gotta plan out the wiring. For right now, I can just plug it in just to get it kind of up and running and make sure it works and everything works fine. But I can make that look better like next weekend. Okay, this thing moves some pretty good air. I mean, I like it. Yes, I have a lot of caulking around there. So, again, gotta put some trim up, gotta paint it, make it look good. But I don't have the stuff for that. And I got pizza coming in like 22 minutes. So, there we go. Jason from Bite My Bits and Stalls and Exhaust Fan. I guess before I put up the ladders and everything, here is the inside right those two two by fours work perfectly it fits right in between the studs uh the fact that it wasn't a perfect circle does not matter and i can trim this out and i gotta figure out wiring later but for right now i have an exhaust fan which means i have air moving in the garage all right it's 90 92 degrees in here you got to set the automatics at 55 percent humidity and set to continue running until it's 75 so it will always be running well guys that's it i'm gonna do trim tomorrow i'm gonna edit this video and get this uploaded as fast as possible so thank you for watching the shenanigans over here at bnb headquarters like and subscribe below and have yourself a great day i'm so hungry right now it's crazy